welcome back to the control. We are the director of the Federal Bureau of Control. This is not over and we, well, we look like a director now and let's see something new on the hotline and let's grind. My reflection trapped in the darkness of the coffee I nurse. The rain turned the lights of the city into a mosaic on the windows. The day's paper lists all the things wrong in the world. The list grows longer by the day. The difference between the morning and the night. Coffee. Whiskey. No other difference. The alarm goes off at 5 a.m. It feels like I just closed my eyes. It's dark. I sit up on the bed in the gloom. I get up, I shower. The driver waits for me downstairs, takes me to the oldest house. An old man stares at me in the car window. It's raining. It's dark. Late at night, he brings me back here. It's not a home. It's a room where I sleep in. Waking up just as tired as I was before going to bed. Endless grind. Sounds like normal day of work. But Jesse was right, this is not the end, we still have something to do. Uh, yeah, I've heard all of those, I think. <sighs> Containment procedure, blank. The object is a blank with a vertical tray. The object creates blank. The only blank to successfully produce this effect resulted in the capture of blank. Object has not been successfully bound. The parallel utility of this object does not require binding. Discovered when the bureau responded to blank blank, many of the company blank were blank. The entirety of the blank was transported to the bureau to, for examination to find additional blank or other altered material. And okay, let's see, what do we have? You oh okay. what? <gasps> no <laughs> Touch the entrance depths of the oldest house for classified bureau secrets. It and clues. Shawshank Redemption. What? The name of the movie I was thinking of earlier. <laughs> Not important. But that was it. Oh, good to know. And no one took care of that. Really? The foundation. Talk, talk to the board. Really? Oh, it's all the way over there. What do I want to see? Trump wants a full physical examination of Dylan Fader. Mm. Specifically looking for any physiological abnormality. Oops, over there. I want to talk to her. She usually has... Most... Yep, and she has something to say. Sorry. And there's another report. This uh, corruption manifests in a vastly different ways. Some hosts remain largely unchanged, while others are barely recognizable as human. What determines the self of alteration? Is this the duration of corruption? It could simply be an evolutionary process, each entity representing a stage of growth in an undiscovered linear progression leading towards what? Additionally, these entities possess various supernatural abilities. How have they achieved this? They gained them from corrupting objects of power? Have they corrupted a single highly talented totalitarian and divided their access to supernatural abilities across the network of his corrupted hosts? As a scientist, I am hindered by the sheer number of questions and difficult to identify where one should begin. What is the most impertinent question? How do we kill it? That seems like a good start. Prefer to file blank for full report. 
Oh, Pope. Jesse, good to see you. We've got Dylan situated in his containment cell like you asked. I've got medical staff running tests as we speak, and I'd be happy to walk you through the details later. Other than that, what's next? With the slide projector turned off, the hiss are shut out, but we're stuck with the ones already here. We can't lift the lockdown until they're all eradicated. If any hiss ever got out, that would be the end of everything. Well, eliminating them all will take time. Look, I'll do what I can on my end, but my research is progressing slower than I'd like. I think I can help with that. I am making you the head of research, effective immediately. I want you to use everything the Bureau has, every resource, every confidential scrap of data, and find a way to keep the hiss out for good. That's... really? I, I mean, yes, yes, I can certainly... Yes! <laughs> yes, I accept. You'll do great. Besides, I didn't really have anyone else lined up. I'm honored, Jesse, really. Thank you. That was quick. Thought I saw some other like men slaying them. Any luck finding the armory? None. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's you got. I heard you closed the his portal or uh, whatever it is we're calling it. Now if we could just flush out the stragglers. Mm, okay. What's about the official? So, what's next for Simon Arish? Well, first off, I'm banning all slide projectors. That's it. <laughs> Seriously, though, we need to review our protocols. Research should not be making decisions that endanger the entire Bureau and fuck it, the entire fucking world, without some serious oversight. I think Pope would agree. Certain people in the Bureau have been working in the shadows for too long. And I'd like to make these HRAs part of the mandatory Bureau uniform. They're not stylish, but better safe than sorry. I don't think anyone will complain. Not after this. What are your thoughts on me serving as director? <laughs> well, I couldn't be more excited. I mean, look, don't get me wrong, Trench was fine, but... Well, you pulled us back from the brink. So... Well, I'm honored to serve, ma'am. I mean, fuck, shit. <laughs> Faden. Sorry. He'll get it one day. So, what's the situation in my bureau, Arish? The situation is we are still up to our eyes in hiss. Not to mention the months of repairs it's going to take just to get this place up and running again. But is it doable? Of course it is. You just might need to tell some rangers to grab a wrench once they're done hunting his. Okay, they will do that. Did anyone ever mention to you that Darling was using the slide projector? Well, Salvador never did, but um, I doubt he even knew. Look, I'm well aware that it's our job to study and contain the things that we don't understand, but... Well, some of the things that Darling did were way outside of our mission statement. Look, these things are not toys, and acting like they are is only ever going to end one way. At least Pope seems to understand that. Well, it's secure now. No one can reach it without my say-so. But thank Christ for that. Marshall's been missing for a while now. Any ideas where she could be? The last time I saw her was in maintenance when I was leading the Rangers out of the Atlas. Yeah, I told her it wasn't safe, but... She said she had to go check on something. Did you ask where she was going? Whew, Marshall is not the kind of person you question. <laughs> kind of intimidating, you know? But, uh, she was by herself. If that helps at all. Not really, but thanks. Hopefully she turns up. I'll see you later. You know where I'll be. So let's go up to the board, unless we had six ability points. Okay, let's. I'm not gonna use those. May I might use shield once in a time. I will remember it eventually. Well, holding shield is a bit to rush at enemies. Oh, that's nice. I would love to have all of those unlocked you now. Let's see, we have this done. Kill his charged. Kill his one. Oh, we'll take this one. No, we still have something unchecked. No, that can be this assistant. All right. Uh, what about our constructs? Still not. 
Okay. We talk to him now. We should be able to go. This is the elevator, so I don't really want to go over there. I'm thinking about the fastest way to get to the. Any of finding the armory? None. Looks like it got shifted. We have rangers mm, checking each sector. Go to the hotline. For executive. Nope. Please. Is there even a way to? Might be. No, there's the villain's room. Is it? Yeah, my must. I can go through here. Nope. Uh, through the director's office, right? He has the direct connection. After all, Jesse oh, Faden, director of the Federal Bureau of Control. I still don't quite believe it. Well, right, the start. You always knew where we were headed. Yeah. Oh, yep, over there. I'm going, I'm going. Even if it was a dream, I feel Darling reached out to me through the hotline. I have a feeling he and Trench will be. Problem in the foundation. That was Ati's vacation spot. Yeah. We need to check this out. Luckily, we have direct uh, control point teleportation, so we don't have to go all the way around. Mm, but let's remember what I... Let's see if I remember the way to go <laughs> back to the central executive. Well, it was here. And now, what out? Jumping, I won't die. Yes, that's me. Let's travel to the uh, foundation. Dark, quiet, transdimensional. Those this place books. really suits Ati. I know, right? So that etching is the door. Okay, let's try opening it. Too much green. Too green for my liking. I don't feel really like to go green. Oh, okay, where's my lamp? No time for sightseeing. Hmm. The board said this was an emergency. Okay, I have my weapon of choice. That's good. Looks like no one's been down here in a while. Why would they? Well. Okay. Hmm. The crystals are kind of pretty. Emily would be having a field day down here. My life's been a strange one, certainly stranger than I'd like, but this place, it's something else. The floors crawl, the walls slither, it's a shifting pit. On the street, it's just another drab building standing there for anyone to see, but no one does. How did we miss it? Northmore. Acting director in Northmore now is on a train from Washington. He'll expect answers, which is why I'm making these tapes. They're evidence that I'm at least trying to understand. Father searched his entire life for something like this, and we find it one week after he's buried. He always hated irony. Of course, Father, the great director, Ash, 
would have been the first man in. And look at me, his bookworm son, the supposed head of research who can't stop his legs from shaking long enough to step over the threshold. Don't be so hard on yourself. Let's take Delta. The foundation. Bottom of the oldest house. Stop the hiss. Marshall? How was she on the hotline? Oh. Unless she's dead. Yeah. Jesus. She seemed like the kind of woman who could survive anything. Ew. Ow. <laughs> Not the ew. Ouch. I only heard of the Foundation when I became head of operations. The very bottom of the oldest house. Director access only. Just the name alone is classified. Zachariah gave me a tour the day I was promoted. Said I should see it for myself. To understand. After that, I snuck down on my own from time to time to keep tabs on the place. And on them. But nothing ever changed down there. Not even the walls. It's solid. Permanent. Different from the rest of the house. Of course, they were always watching me. I never stayed long. I'm not stupid. I have to stop the hiss from finding this place. I'm the only one who can. And it didn't occur to you to tell your new director about this place? Okay, fine. It's pretty. I don't like this though. The girls are his charge. First. Oh, there's a box in here. And actually, ooh, wait, 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 wait. We actually now we have a better one. Level five, and I just got level four. God damn it! That and that. I have 16 of them. Ooh, projectile speed. Why is it so strange? It's absolute, but it has some kind of. Is it the ultimate for this kind of weapon or something? Yeah, we have projectile. Yeah, we have ultimate for shatter. Uh, search isn't. <laughs> Isn't upgraded just yet. So. Okay, we have two ways to go. This seems kind of. Hmm. Can we even get there? Not quite. Nope. Just a bit too high. I don't want to die just yet. Damn, it's so bright! It, it actually hurts my eyes. The first one didn't explode. I don't know why. Those structures. Is that the astral plane? How is that possible? Oh. This is worse than I thought. We need to figure out what's going on. Let me get this open. Okay. 
how do I have to get rid of those um, rocks? Okay, at least there's not a lot of haze around here. At first I thought the cave paintings in the Foundi Funda Foundation chronicled ancient humans' encounters with natural occurrences like weather, but it soon became clear they depicted events far outside the average human experience. Also, it seems I was wrong to assume the images are ancient. Radiocarbon dating suggests something impossible. But I've been down here longer than the paintings. It's absurd, though. The style and medium clearly indi indicate a paleo paleolithic origin. I was ready to conclude that an ancient community of humans lived in or around the oldest house. Now, with this information, I don't know what to think. Is one of our agents drawing this, or is there someone down here with us? This place has a habit of skewing my results. So perhaps the data is corrupted, or perhaps some paintings were created at different times. The art does seem to chronicle not only the past, but also the present and possibly even the future. I see in them echoes of the board, some linear architecture, even what could be interpreted as a director. Are the paintings telling a story that's still being written? If so, who is writing it? Probably Alan Wake. He is writing a lot. Nope. Whoa, he charged at me. Whoa, there's two of them. Now. What the hell? They were teleporting. Okay, that's something new. That's definitely something new. That's another report. Tom, you missed the good news. I'm sure the official memo will go out soon, but North Moor called on all hands at the crossroads to announce we're finally moving out of this hellhole and up into the house proper. Bureau Brass apparently solved the moving walls problem. Or at least figure out a way to pinpoint where and when they happen. All I know is going up means goodbye darkness, goodbye real contrast with that ex-Nazi scientist, and goodbye pissing into the pit. I know that was you, Barry. Not Moore's ordering the foundation sealed as soon as we can haul our staff out and somehow convince Ash to come with us. He's the only one kicking up a fuss. This is long overdue, we've lost 11 men and them near $10,000 in supplies moving between the entrance and the foundation. And for what? Research? Ash is batty if he thinks he won't, we want to stay here and sift through more sand for him. It just frosted iron flakes anyway. Did you know that? We're breathing, breathing that shit in. Are those eyes? No, those are lights, okay. I'm actually glad those were lights. So beware of dangerous toxic gas. Okay. I'll simply avoid them though. This place looks identical to what we've seen before. Okay. I wanted to say strange, but no. After all we've experienced, after the ash ashtray maze, nothing strange anymore. 
Mr. Wilder, I have some bad news. You remember that Robert Ricardo fellow we brought in as a special consultant to map the lower caves? Well, today he found a chamber with weird eyes covering every inch of the walls and a strange black pillar in the center. Kinda looks like the one at the crossroad, but smaller. We had a bureau member show shadowing him, but whatever happened in there did a number on our guest. The dogs are taking a look, but it's pretty clear Mr. Adventure's exploring days are over. I know we were careful to limit the guy, this guy's exposure to non-ordinary, tracking him and carrying him through the upper floor was a real hoot by the way, but we really need to re re evaluate our police policies on external contractors. Honestly, we would be better off forming a special division trained in rappelling and orienteering than subjecting more outsiders to the shit we deal with. They almost always end up dead or loony. Marcus. And Marcus was right. Well, this is close. Source gain. Source gain from taking. No, thank you. I have a lot of sores. We're definitely in the astral plane. plane is cutting into our dimension. Oh. What if this happens in the upper floors? It'll destroy the bureau. So this shouldn't have happened. Thank you. Where's the tosser? Yeah, apparently he's dead. Not behind mine, but I don't know I how he died. Only with me. I could really use my head of research right about now. The astral plane now physically accessible, a torrent of new information has been collected on the entities known as astral copies. The copies bodies are composed of a dense stone-like material that is both resilient under controlled circumstances and brittle when struck with significant force. Okay. It's sharp oh, those are his sharpened. Marshall? Marshall! You're alive! I'm not quite sure that was more. Wait! It's Jesse! The director! Fell. <laughs> so, get easy on the music, please. Whoa. Oh. This place is huge. Marshall? Can you hear me? She was on the hotline, so that person couldn't have been Marshall, right? One problem at a time. Let's see what's going on with that pillar first. I mean that pillar? I want to check labs first. Unless those are pillars. Okay, definitely lab. Oh, uh, more like office? Shifting fragments. Oh, there's something. It's been five days since we first entered the building. Traversing the interior is dangerous due to the shifting, but we did manage to find a lower cavern that seems structurally predictable, which is a scientific way of saying its walls won't crush us in our sleep. Northmore even made a discovery. A pistol placed on a stone pedestal in front of that strange ebony pillar. Seems like something out of a storybook, except the heroes usually find swords, not handguns. But it is the perfect lure for someone like him. Hours after finding this weapon, Northmore cornered me is about some nonsense about how the board had made him the director. 
He ranted about the title being meaningless before now, calling Father and all other previous directors shams, frauds, and worse. I think this place is worse for North more than it is for me. Strangest thing? There was no pedestal in front of that pillar a day ago. This building has swallowed a dozen of my men, and now it's handing out presents? Is it playing some sort of game? If it is, we're most certainly losing. So we don't even know the rules. Okay, but I think that's a good place to take a little break and eat something, maybe. So, now thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!